Hi guys, Scatlink here. Welcome to my modding showcasing sub-series, Hats Off To You, a series of which we try out community created hats, costumes, functions, singular levels, full chapters, or time rifts created by the Hat in Time fan community via the Steam Workshop. This will also include any challenge roads of which will have their own video dedicated to earning ourselves a trophy of which would otherwise be permanently missed. In this episode of Hats Off To You, we're going to be taking our hat and going classical. In fact, what we want to do is get into something a little bit more snappy. And I think this, not that one actually, what's more bluish, but not too blue. Actually, that looks pretty good. I think I might go with this one, and you know why? Because there's been one mod that has been requested a couple of times from both my uh, Discord as well as from the official Hat in Time Discord when I asked in mod in general. A Hat in Crime. I was actually going to do a bunch of Moustache Girl mods, but one of them ain't working at the moment, so I want to hold that off. Because we haven't actually used Moustache Girl that much. But I thought I'd let you know about that, because that's kind of a problem. Yeah, I was going to do Moustache in the Tropics. That mod is needs recooking, and it hasn't been recooked yet, so I can't do it. I was going to do that alongside MU's Ninja Training, so... Unless, you know, uh, someone or the original creator recooks a moustache in the tropics, I can't play that. So that video is not going to happen for quite a bit. Which is a shame, because I really wanted to actually use the moustache girl playable mod, because she's just sitting there on those pile of pillows, not doing anything. I mean, I guess we could use her in other levels, but if we need to, like, wall climb or do something of the sort that moustache girl cannot do, then, yeah, that's a waste of time, really. We might as well just play as Hat Kid, Jimmy, or... Bogu, Bogu kid. So that's that's the problem. Anyway, what I'm on about is oh, whoops. Oh, really? It cycles one way but not the other. Ace Hat Kid Attorney a Hat in Crime Case One. Apparently there are three cases at the moment with a fourth on the way. There's supposed to be four, as it says here. There are fe featuring full four cases to solve. Only one is currently done. Two to four will come out later down the line. It's treated as a chapter. I'm guessing he was supposed to put them all in one mod, but instead they've just been separate releases. Plus, he's also got the Hat in Time Mods logo, which uh, I believe is an official logo, or an unofficial official logo, if that makes any sense. Of course, I've got my own logo because it's my own series, but you get what I mean. And yeah, Hat Kid tries her luck at lawyering. In this thrilling mod, take control of Hat Kid as she becomes an ace attorney. You can only be an ace attorney if you are, you know, an ace. You have the track record for it. Also, I love how the silhouette is the, the smashified hat kid which is kind of funny but yeah featuring four cases to solve only one's currently done there are three at the moment as far as i could tell on the steam workshop i haven't played ace attorney or phoenix Wright or whatever it is i've never played them i have seen them and i know what it's about and i know the references objection and all that i mean i used that in uh, uh one of the earlier hat in time uh hats off to you videos so that's a thing but yeah i know what it's about i just haven't played them myself because they're not my kind of games but people request it so we're gonna try it and it does actually open up like a chapter thing i mean maybe there are more chapters in it maybe it's four acts per case i don't know or maybe it's split up so we get the evidence and then we go to court or something i don't know an express turnabout apparently the uh the next one's called a mafia turnabout or something a mafia a mafia related turnabout i can't words mafia what's my mouth doing <laughs> i can't words now, considering this is supposed to be just in the courtroom, I'm actually surprised it's taking a lot longer to load. There might be voice acting. It didn't say anything about voice acting, but then again, I feel pretty spoiled at this point. I've been saying it almost every video now. The only one that we haven't that we have done so far that hasn't had voice acting is the Conductor's Village, funnily enough. Probably want to get rid of that voice acting, really, but there's a lot of NPCs that need voice acting. But all the owls could be the same voice, just like how it's done in the normal game, so I don't know. I'm just talking to Fur at this time. I think it's going to take a little bit longer to load, so I think I'm just going to cut into it loads. It's finally loaded. Oh, we're going to see the uh, murder in action. <laughs> it's like murder on the Hour Express, round two. Can't get caught. Dead by prison is nothing to joke about. Then why did you do the act? I'll have to pin this on someone. Someone like her. Um... This is basically the murder on the Hour Express. If I pin it on her, then nobody will expect me. Suspect you. 
I don't know who's supposed to be talking. 9.03 a.m. Dead Bird Court Lobby. Bird, Jewelry 15th. This is actually taken straight out of Phoenix Wright. I recognise this background. This was the beginning of a series of cases, most involving birds. On the 15th of Birduary 2018, Hat Kids stood in the lobby of Dead Bird Court. Hey, you darling! You ready for this trial? Your auntie's freedom is on the line! She's a cardboard cutout. She's a, she's a board cutout. <laughs> Had Kid's uncle's sister was accused of murdering an express owl on the Owl Express. So basically this is just a court case version of the movie. <laughs> I know the conductor is most definitely rigging this trial in one way or another. It'll be your job to see this through his deception. I know you can do it, darling. On this fateful day, a feverant battle for truth and justice was about to begin. 9.05 a.m. Dead Bird Courtroom number 5. Would you like to enable hints? Well, considering I've never played a hacking, well, any Ace Attorney game before in me life, I think I'm going to. Call me a scrub if you want, but if I've never played it before, then why would I? Also, this this area looks 3D modelled, not like a picture like it just did before. HA! Bet you're expecting a gravel slam, huh, folks? Too bad. My court, my rules. This judge looked pretty familiar to Hackett. Was she just T-posing for a second there? Now then, fools! Court is now in session for... Uh... Hey, kid! What's the defendant's name again? Yep. Um... What did I go with before? I actually cannot remember. <laughs> I, it's been roughly a year since I did the main 100% walkthrough. I don't know why I left this so long, so uh... Ah. Fig! Yes! Aunt Fig! Of course! That was a test to make sure you had your wits! Court is now in session for Fig! Is the defense ready? Always, Your Honor. We're just doing fabulously. That's great. A new prosecution? The prosecution is ready to win this thing! You two don't have a chance of getting a not guilty, I can assure you! Wonderful! And would the prosecution like to begin their opening statement? Certainly, Your Honor. Ahem! On the 12th of Burgeary at 8.03pm, the victim was stabbed to death with a knife. According to the autopsy report, the victim was stabbed three times, all in the general location. I don't think you need an autopsy to tell that, you just look at the holes in his belly. The crime took place on the Owl Express in the bowler. Bowler? The boiler room, mouth, words, enunciate. Jesus. I've added these crime details to the court record. Crime details added to court record. Hey darling, usually if you were the head defense, you'd be able to look at the record, but since you're co-defense right now, I'll just ask occasionally if you want to look at it. Like right now, you want to look at that evidence he just added? Hecka no. I like that, that's the default assumption. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the evidence. Great, take a look. Which evidence to inspect? Crime details. 12th of Burgery, number 7. Oh, okay, so this is just a, this is just like a, uh, a manuscript of what he's already said. Paper attorney badge? It's a paper attorney badge, DJ Groove's made it for you, you're 100% genuine attorney, totally. Okay, so that, okay, so that's just my starting evidence because he gave it to me so I could start, fair enough. Alright, so nothing else, so that basically just views my inventory, fair enough. These are pictures of the crime scene, they were taken on the 13th. Okay, so that's just my starting evidence because he gave it to me so I could start, fair enough. Alright, so that's just my starting evidence because he gave it to me so I could start, fair enough. Oh, very incriminating. I can't wait to pass down that guilty verdict. I want to do it right now. Not so fast, we haven't even had any witnesses yet. Do you have any more evidence, Conductor? I like how this has played like another Battle with Birds thing because they're on opposing sides. Wait a minute, would Hat Kid normally be in the position of DJ Grooves if I didn't say hints, so he gives me hints, like hints me on to do things, he's guiding me? Because I would guess Hat Kid would normally be in the thing. Or less, he's speaking for me because Hat Kid's 
Well, for the majority of the game, a Mew, but she has a lot of voice clips like Mario. Why, yes, I do! This is the Hour Express schedule. This is Hour Express schedule. Detailing the rides that ha- Blech. My, my mouth, wow. I cannot talk. <laughs> this is a bad mod to do today. This is the Owl Express schedule, detailing the rides that the train had done. It, said, it says that this particular trip lasted three days, from the 9th to the 12th. The train ride started at 9am on the 9th, and it ended at 11pm on the 12th. You know, you, you missed, you, you kind of missed like a little running gag there. 9th on the 9th, 12th on the 12th, come on. Pictures and train, oh, I don't know why he has to talk when that shows up, because his pain and train schedule have been added to the court record. Now listen here, my dear conductor. I hope you know that me and my partner here won't let you get away with a guilty verdict. Ha! And vice versa to you, DJ Picnic. <gasps> We're in a courtroom of law! That kind of language is unacceptable. Eh, who cares, really? Hm, <laughs> fine then. First witness is calling in as a member of court. Balif! Get that guy in here, and make it snappy, or else. Hey you darling, you wanna look at the court record? Before the witness comes in? I might as well. So what we got so far, we got, oh wow, um... I think we need a bit of, a bigger graphic. <laughs> or another graphic, either or. Uh, so the crime, right, so the crime scene photos... I don't think there's anything there, I normally, I can normally see that in my head, because it's the same scene as before. Uh, train schedule, what was that again? The, the trip that the victim was killed on lasted three days. Why does a train trip take three days? I've never I've never heard of a train trip taking longer than a few hours. I mean, why would a train go on for three days? It's, that don't sound right at all. That's very unbelievable. I think that's the I think that's too easy. Then again, this is the first case, so I don't know. All right. So, oh yep, here's the court agent. Alright! Give us your name and occupation. Name? Classified. Occupation? Also classified. What? My identity must be kept classified. Now hang on there, lassie. I can't proceed this trial without getting your name and occupation, so cough it up. Um, that's a female? <laughs> I didn't know that. Is the state of the universe in jeopardy if I do not comply? What? Yes, totally! Oh yeah! If you don't, if you don't, the world will end. All existence will come to a close. That that moustache lassie over there will make sure that will happen. I see. Well, for the betterment of the universe, I shall declassify. Name: Ahon Himus. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. That ain't even Japanese. Occupation: Owl detective. That doesn't look like an express owl at all. I should be doing that in Hat Kids, boys. I have very vital and classified some of information that I shall be relinquishing to the bird court. Yeah, that's right, you better. But information is not free, you see. Information is valuable. I'm not asking for money, however. Turn it into Shatner. Information for information. I shall ask one on the defense. Riddle me this, head, a torment wearing neon eight. What is your favorite color? Uh, blue? It's not my favourite colour, but I'm just giving an answer because I don't know what relevance this has. Incorrect. It is... Smaragdalin. Smaragdalin. Smaragdine. Smaragdin? Is that a colour? I don't think that's a colour. What is that word? You have failed the test, but I shall partake in this position of information regardless. So if I type that in when I got that right, would it have changed if I somehow typed that in? I don't know. I think it might actually be too big for the box. Behold. God, I've been going on for 20 minutes and again the loading took a while. Witness testimony. That's ripped straight out of Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, whatever. So I was taking a ride on the Owl Express. Is this music from Phoenix Wright? When suddenly I hear the outcry of another one of my fellow express owls. 
Due to my great concern of this event, I followed the noise to the boy room. I walked in the most chilling sight. One of my dear fellow express owls had been murdered, stabbed with a knife. And when I discovered his body, I discovered the culprit too, an old woman. It's a cardboard cutout. I, I had caught the killer in the act, and as the clock chimed, it signaled the moment the killer was caught. Aha! A very decisive testimony already! I can't, I can't wait to hand down that guilty verdict! I can't wait to hear the victim cry in distress! <laughs> I can't do Snatch for Beans. Young Town, I applaud you. I mean, obviously there's a filter there, but, you know. I'll try to apply a filter, I'll see if I can. Uh, yes, what he said. But, since I'm genuinely currently a judge, I have to be non-biased. As such, I'll be giving the defense a chance to cross-examine. Defense, prepare your weapons of logic. We're on it, your honor. Alrighty, darling, this is the big part. The cross-examination. All you have to do is choose which statements you want more information. Shout out hey, and I'll take a look at that statement. You do that by choosing press when you expose contradictions by presenting a piece of evidence using the present button. Give him a good zing! But don't present unless you're sure it's right, or you'll get a penalty. For those, and it's game over yet, my life count. Don't worry, you've got this, darling! That kid was prepared. It's like he's showing us how to do things. You know, I I played this. I was playing this, I didn't actually think it was going to be bird related, but it turned out to be. That was unintended. So I was taking a ride on the Owl Express. Then suddenly I hear the outcry of another one of my fellow, fellow Express Owls. Do I press? I mean, I... I don't know. Next statement. Due to my great concern of this event, I followed the noise to the boiler room. Press? I like how it's hay. You could hear it even over the boiler. I have extraordinary healing. I'll, I'll have you know. It's one of my express owl traits. I did hear it. I did indeed hear both the boiler and the owl. I walked into a most chilling sight when my dear fellow owls expressed who you know, happy now, stabbed with a knife. Yeah, it's stabbed with a knife. Uh, next statement, I guess. When I discovered this body, I discovered the culprit too. Oh, oh. I'm guessing that the fact of it being a cardboard cutout doesn't matter, so I don't think there's anything I can do here. Unless it was a setup. Press. Just because she was there doesn't make her the killer. Ah, but you see, I walked in on the act. I had caught the killer in the act. And as the cock chimed, it signaled the moment the killer was caught. Present. Which evidence? Uh. Train schedule? Killed on last, the trip of the victim was killed on last three days from the 9th to the 12th. The train ride started at 9 and ended at 11. Um, present? Uh, what? I don't see a contradiction there. Fool! Try thinking next time! Penalty! Fair enough. Oh, I gotta go through the whole thing again. Press. And why were you taking a ride? I was simply taking a train from point A to point B. That's all. Interesting. What was your destination? Classified. Of course. Wait, is he he's allowed to get away with that one? For all we know, he could be getting off on a stop in between the trip that lasted three days. I'll press every situation. Are you sure it was an express owl? Positive. I know what a fellow express owl sounds like. A noise such as hoot hoot. It's quite chilling indeed. 
In my great concern at this event, I followed the noise to the point. Ori. Present. Crime details? Oh, that's the contradiction. 8.23, the bell couldn't have chimed. Okay. No. Okay, cool. Uh, next statement. Walked in. Dear father stabbed with a knife. Next statement. Cop to an old woman. Next statement. Caught the killer in the act. Clock chimed. How could it chime if it weren't the time? So now I need to present. So I presented the wrong evidence. The evidence that I need to is um, the crime details. There we are. I chose the wrong item. Hold it right there. There's something pretty off about what you just said. And what would that be off in such a statement? You say you caught them in the act when the clock chimed, yes, darling? Yes, that is indeed what I had said. Does that bother you? It does, actually, because the murder happened 30 minutes after the crime. C car. Or 30 minutes before, if you consider the next hour. How can you explain this inconsistency, darling? Hey, now, listen here. I'm not going to take this. Sure, that may be true. Maybe I'm mistaken. I saw the body end of the fit. The blood looked fresh too. I never said I walked in at 8 or 8.30. But you said when the clock chimed and it wouldn't chime at 23. Allow me to revise that testimony I gave. It's wrong. Now, there will be no lies in my court or else you'll regret it. I did not lie. I simply misspoke and omitted information. Allow me to explain. Wait. As I said, I was taken around the Air Hour Express. I am not going to tread over my previous testimony, as I only need to correct one statement. I arrived at the moment at which I assumed to be the moment of the crime. Obviously, I assumed false. I never classified what time I saw them in. I... What? <laughs> it's too false! I never classified what time I saw them at. I saw them at 12 a.m. as the clock chimed for a new day. But you said that it was caught in you caught it in the act at the time. So I don't think that works because I mean if you saw them at that point, why would the culprit be still standing there? That clears it up, does it not? No, it don't. I don't think so. Ah! There we go! The contradiction is eliminated. Take that, DJ Picnic! Darling, we have to find a new contradiction in this testimony. But if you can just change the whole entire story, then you're just bullshitting. Let's be fair. And plus, he's saying picnic. I think I can swear. You got this. We can find a new contradiction. Whenever someone lies, cover up a lie, more lies are exposed. Okay, so he's got a new testimony. Cross-examination. Bloody hell, we're at 30 minutes now. This is taking a while. As I said, I was taking a ride on the Express. Okay, next statement. I'm not going to trade him on as I need a quick one statement. Press. I mean, we know the reason, but... And uh, why won't you? How did we know that there wasn't any problems with it? If there were if there were issues with it, you would have pointed them out. My previous testimony had one flaw, which you pointed out. However, this two testimony has, doesn't have any flaws. Zero. Quite a bold claim, darling. It's not a claim, it's a fact. Facts are only facts to prove it otherwise. Me wrong. That kid wonders why this crow is so confident in his testimony. <laughs> I arrived at the moment which I assumed to be the moment of the crime. Press. Why did you assume it to be the moment of the crime? I saw the killer and the victim all in front of me as I walked in. I feel my justification for not assuming the crime has happened four or so hours earlier is valid. And why is that? Because why would the killer stand the, by the body for four hours? Oh yeah, that is indeed a good point. Good point? I think not. I think it is a marvellous point. An amazing point. I think it would be the best in the world, nay, the universe. Obviously, I assume false. I never classified what time I saw them at. I saw them at 12am as the clock time for a new day. Hang on a second. Crime details. On the 12th of Burduary at 8.23pm. In the boy 
the room because there's evidence. Right, I just need to read this. So 8.23 on the 12th. Present train schedule. Ended at 11 p.m. I'm gonna try. I don't know. What is it this time? Mr. Alonymous, take a look at this. The train schedule? What of it? It says the train ride ended at 11 p.m. on the 12th. Oh, how disappointing. I was expecting you were going to pull some sort of elaborate shout. Oh, yeah, because it said 8 8 a.m. on the 12th. But, no, wait, hang on, no. What? I, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> how disappointing. I was expecting you were going to pull some sort of elaborate shouting thing. You expect to catch me with that? Easy. I didn't find the body on the 12th. I found it at 12 a.m. on the 11th. That opens a second contradiction, however. I beg your pardon. On the 11th, the victim had not died yet. Gah! If the crime had not been committed yet, how could you have seen it, Mr. Imus? Uh, well, uh, you, you see, uh, I, uh, you know, one thing that I sh Huh? Well? Oh, wow. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Imus, don't just sit there like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> this is badgering. Come on now. It shouldn't be that hard to fix this if your testimony truly didn't have any flaws. <laughs> Darling! <laughs> the witness should be speaking for themselves. Oh, have you know, I'm a certified bird prosecutor. I'll do what I have to. Now, we must do something. I... Of course. Uh, of course, I can't explain it well. Not me, but I know someone else who saw the crime. You what? <laughs> yeah, and... A second witness, of course. The conductor knows the second witness. I do? I, I mean, I do! Oh, yeah! That witness! I know that one! Yes, indeed. One of my fellow express owls. The one who saw the killer enter the room. Definite proof. Your Honor, permission to call a second witness? Permission granted. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. What? what just happened? What happened was you losing! <laughs> This turn of events makes that kid very peeved. Balif! Why did I say Balif? Balif! Bring in the second witness! I cannot do Snatch. For some reason, I just can't get the voice at the moment. Now that's an owl! My lord, how long is this? I'm actually enjoying this, but at the same time, it takes a while. I think I might spread the, uh, the cases out a bit. <laughs> Alright, give us your name and occupation. At least I'm getting better with his voice. Oh, I, uh, Deed Bird Express Owl. Well then, Mr. Bird. A previous witness, Mr. Imus, said that you'd be able to clear up the contradictions in his testimony. Um, yeah, I can do that. I saw the killer go into the boiler room. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll testify. He's not worried at all, is he? He's just saying what he knows. Okay, so I was in the dining room, which is two rooms away from the boiler room. I saw this big old lady. She grabbed a knife from the kitchen. Then I saw her walk toward the boiler room. How do you see to walk toward the boiler room if it was a room away? The dining room and the room in the the, the room in between the boiler room and the um the, the the dining room has like another offshoot. So that can't be right. I wouldn't have followed them. But if they were wearing, but they were wearing my hat. I really like that hat. So he's wearing evidence. Can we add that, please? So I followed her to the boiler. I saw her standing over the body with one of my friends, holding that kitchen knife menacingly. You're being a lot quite calm for someone who's your friend. That <laughs> kid's no double peeved. Now, now, darling. Every testimony has a contradiction, except the ones that don't. But I'm pretty sure this one does. I think. Press X to doubt. Oh, press cross to doubt. Ah, I don't think I actually meant press X, even though I did press X there. So I was in the dining room, which is two rooms away from the boiler room. Pressing for that. Can anyone confirm that it's indeed two rooms away? 
It's two rooms away. Oh yeah? How can you be so sure? Because it's my peck and train, you picnic! <laughs> right. I saw this big old lady, she grabbed a knife in the kitchen. And I saw her walk toward the boardroom. Ah! Price. How did she walk? She's a cardboard cutout. Thank you! Thank you, voice of reason! <laughs> cardboard cutout? I have no clue what you're talking about. Never mind. Oh, uh, previous statement. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to present. I guess so, because we already confirmed that it's two rooms away. Ah, this statement has a contradiction! Uh, darling, I don't think there's a contradiction here. Fool, I can hear that! No contradiction, no sustainment! Penalties, Apple! Oh damn, my health hasn't recovered since. So I was in the dining room, which is two rooms away from the boiler room. Why can't I not use that exact le I mean, yeah, okay, he was following, but Yeah, he was he was in the dining room, which is two rooms away from the boiler room. So how do you know she was heading to the boiler room? <sighs> That's the contradiction, but I can't use that. I know it. Uh price, I guess. Are you sure it was the same knife used to kill the victim? Pretty sure. It had a black handle with three white dots on it. Yeah, that sounds like the knife. Um, yeah. Then I saw sort of work towards the boiler room. Oh, yeah, price. Your hat? Yeah, I had left my hat in a room, but it appears that old lady picked it up. It's one of a kind. No, it isn't. <laughs> she put it on the victim before killing him. Don't know why she would have known such thing, but yeah. He's the victim. What hat are you wearing right now? Same hat. I did get it back eventually. I can testify to that. I did. Gave indeed. I give did indeed. Is him. What the hell? I can't word that. I gave did indeed give him. I can't read that because that's not a proper sentence. And that can't, isn't even a typo. That's just in the wrong order. I indeed did give him his hat back. That 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 sentence doesn't work. Got it. What you were gonna allow that? He's whole, he's wearing evidence. <laughs> Holding that kitchen knife menacingly. It... Ah, standing over the body. She wasn't. Wait, can I do this? Pictures. Yeah, present. This is it. So you're sure that she held the knife when you found her? Yeah, she finished stabbing the victim and was holding the knife, stripped of the blood of her enemy. Sorry, Mr. Bird. Yeah, thank you for your concern. No, I mean, sorry, I'm going to expose you. Pfft, exposed? You sound pretty dramatic right now. Isn't this a courtroom? <laughs> You've never seen, or played, or watched uh, Ace Attorney then, have you? That kid wonders why this hour is such a meanie. Ugh, no, Mr. Bird, take a look at this picture. Uh, huh? What about it? Where is the knife? It's, uh, you know, right... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's definitely not where I said it was. So how do you explain this? Pretty easily, actually. I just misspoke. Oh, for... Come on, guys, really? Yeah, I guess it was in the victim. Uh, does that really change anything? Yes, because you're lying! Well, well, well! Looks like the DJ loser isn't great at his job! That lassie over there is better than you! Can I go now? I need to feed my fish at home. Well then, it's pretty conclusive trial! You've proved a lot of inconsistencies, but never actually proved who the true killer was. I guess I could just end the trial here then, if you're gonna waste our time. No way! Ha! Well, do you have an idea who the killer is, then? Well, uh... What about you, kid? Do you have an idea? The conductor? What? Really? Okay. Oh, do you have an answer? Um, the defense accuses the conductor! 
What? Wow. I've never seen this level of desperation. Looks like the defense is trying to find something that wasn't anything. What the peck are you two doing? It wasn't me, I'm the prosecutor. Just cause you're a prosecutor doesn't mean you can't be guilty. Well, if you're so certain, then you must have proof, yes? Of course we do, right darling? So what I'm getting at... So what I'm getting at is that you're trying to blame me because you got cornered, is that it? Maybe. Your Honor, the defense is trying to pin me that I, to get a not guilty. <laughs> That's desperate! I don't think I've seen that before. Well then, they can't get a not guilty if I just... Guilty?! What? That's it? I don't get the timepiece! Yes? Wait. Oh, we're redoing the last bit. Okay, so we got here. Skip all this. Okay, so I fought the conductor because it's his own train. If he was pushing for testimonies to prosecute, I mean, obviously that's his technical job, but at the same time he doesn't want like his train condemned, and in the movie he technically was the one who set it all up in the first place, so I don't know. So, I'd say the victim. I mean, technically it could be the victim as well, depending on what you choose. Are you crazy? Or a 12 a shot? Oh? Do you have an answer? Yes, we do, Your Honor. What? The defense would like to prosecute... No, the, the defense would like to propose the killer is... The victim! What? What the peck? That's right, the victim. Y you mean a suicide? Nay, not a suicide. The victim is still alive! Who? Who? This is quite the hoot you're stirring up. Where is the victim then? Right in this courtroom. Yeah, because it's his hat, so it's him. That's right, the victim and the killer is Mr. Dead Bird. Hoot! The victim never died because the death was faked. But this is quite a hoot. Have you lost your mind? The victim is the killer of all the crazy fairies. Yeah, you can't prove that. How would you prove such a thing? Well, if you look at the picture, this victim is wearing the same clothes and the same one-of-a-kind hat. So? I told you, the hat was given back to me by the conductor. So what if it was in that picture? It doesn't mean it was me. Yeah! And I was the one who gave his hat back when we arrived! So where was your proof? Oh, is that so? That's funny. If you got the hat back when the train finished its ride, then this picture shouldn't be possible. And why is that? Because this picture was taken a day after the murder. What? No way! That was not brought up at all. So that is indeed the hat in the picture, so how are you wearing it right now? But here's the final evidence. If you're here, and you're not the victim, then that means we go back to the check to the crime scene. We will find the body! Ooh. Ooh! I actually got it! I had insane amounts of taxes I hadn't paid, and I blew all my money on this suit and hat. I couldn't pay back my unpaid taxes. I would have been sent to Deadbird Prison. So I made a deal with the car agent, Alan the Moose, to fake my death and pin it on Fig. I would have gone away with it if it weren't for you meddling defense attorneys. Oh wow. Have to stick in a uh, Scooby Doo reference in there, don't we? What a disappointment. Guess I'm not executing the defendant. Ugh. The court declares the defendant Fig not guilty. Court adjourned. Hey, I did it! But I don't get a timepiece still. Maybe I get it when I press no? Oh, maybe I do. 801 I am. Did per did bird call lobby bird you 15. Congrats, darling, we won the case. I can't believe we pulled that one off. Like a magic trick. And thus Hatkin DJ Groos won the case. But this will not be Hatkin's last case, in fact it wasn't even her first. But in the future, Hatkin would take on many more cases. Will we see them? Maybe. Probably. Not right now. Ace Tony Hatton Crime Act 2, Mafia style to turnabout. Coming eventually. Wait, so I don't get a timepiece for that? I did that for pretty much... <laughs> okay!
Okay, that was a very interesting mod and that took 45 minutes to get through. My lord, why do these mods always take so long? I don't even intend for them to be that way, they just go on for that long. But that just shows how much effort they put in, but... That what? I mean, I guess it was because of all the dialogue trees, because it was all dialogue dependent. But I don't think dialogue should take that long to load. Because I can understand why Conductorware took that long to load, it was almost the same length. But... Yeah, that was a bit odd. Plus, I don't get a time riff, a, a, a timepiece for that. What? No timepiece. I didn't get any progress done. <laughs> I know it's not the point of making progress; it's to show off mods. But at the same time, like I thought of this for the first thing to go like because if I have to go through mods in order to get the community thanks you and I wanted to showcase mods at the same time but I was expecting at least to get a timepiece out of that. I, I forgot that yeah I mean I forgot that mods can end without collecting a timepiece <laughs> I completely forgot about that <laughs> that's why I'm so shocked right now because I completely forgot that you can actually finish off mod levels without getting a timepiece so, um, yeah, um, no progress made, but we completed, uh, we completed a mod. We completed case one. I took two hits and I had to redo an ending, but I got there in the end and my conductor voice is becoming along really well, but my snatcher voice has dropped like a truck, <laughs> falling from orbit. <laughs> But other than that, yeah, that was a really good mod. Uh, like I said, Ace Attorney is not my kind of game. And Ace Attorney is probably a lot more complex than that. But that was entertaining. I mean, it's kind of basically like watching a court case with a lot of drama, but like an act, like with a lot of humor as well, but with hack, with uh, hack and time characters and everything else. So that that's kind of a thing there. But th this I will give a thumbs up just for the sheer fact that a lot of effort was put into it. I mean, maybe if you get the best ending, you ju it just kicks you out with a timepiece. That's personally my thing. Like, oh yeah, you did it. Here's your payment, and then it's your timepiece. But that's not how Ace Tony works. It just goes on to the next day, and that's how it was treated here. Fair enough. But uh, may uh, maybe it's just because I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't get a timepiece to get a mod rift token. That's just the thing, because I've completed a mod now, but I didn't make any progress. I don't know. It's I'm in a bit of a weird position right now, but especially since that was 40, well, almost 50 minutes long at this point. My lord. But yeah, excellent. I don't know if I want to go for the second case right now, but if you guys want the second case, let me know. There are three cases. Apparently, the third was an April Fool's. It said it doesn't even have, like, case three on it, so maybe it's only a demo. I'm not too sure. But if you guys want me to do case two at least, let me know, and let me know when you want to see it. Maybe leave them a little bit or do it, like, next. I don't know, or whenever. I mean, obviously, I've still got other suggestions that I need to get to, like New Hat City, um, Pikmin 2's uh, Awakening Wood, those big, huge, multi-timepiece missions that I keep mentioning. But I've done, like, three recordings at once today, so I'm a bit jaded at the moment. <laughs> I'm all over the place. But yeah, this was a good mod. So I just don't know what else to say about it, really. It's like, I've never played Ace Tony, so I can't, like, compare anything other than the visuals and the style of gameplay. All dependent on dialogue trees, just like how the game is. But yeah, really good. So, see you guys next time for Hats Off To You. Let me know what you want to see in the comments on Discord. Link's in the description below. And with that, see you guys next time.